employers oftentimes we see are, are, try to let someone go for cause and, and to do that they often build the case so we'll, maybe they'll give you bad performance reviews or maybe they'll give you some discipline some warning what they're doing there is they're trying to build up a case kind of like you build a building you start with the block and put another block etc so that at some point they're going to let you go for cause so if your employer is doing that you can't just sit idly by you have to respond you have to outline why you disagree with uh, what they've alleged and you have to potentially build your own case if your employer is saying things that you've done them and, and you don't agree with them well you can't be silent about that let's talk let's figure out how we put you in a position where they either won't let you go for cause or if they do let you go for cause will be in the best position to respond and to show that that's not cause the worst thing you could do John if your employer is building a case to let you go is to just sit idly by that never works you have to respond and you should have a written response right a rebuttal if it's not in writing it doesn't exist yes. I've said yeah. this before I'll say it again you have to respond but also how you respond it's not enough to say you guys don't know what you're talking about and uh, you're jerks and you're abusing me that's not gonna carry any favor with anyone I would do uh, an intelligent response saying you've said that I've done these things here's what actually happened here's what you did not take into consideration and if you do that it's gonna make it so much more difficult to let uh, let you go for cause lost your job employment law myth number nine I can just call the labor board instead of a lawyer fact the labor board cannot help an employee get their full entitlements always go to employmentlawyer.ca and check with the employment lawyer first